Hello and welcome to another video review and today is gonna be uh, again somewhat special yeah I like doing special stuff stuff that people don't do usually so yeah <laughs> uh, those are not specially like transformable transformers but those are metal earth 3d mo 3d model kits and they are transformers how about transformers uh, I picked up Optimus Prime and Soundwave, and I think there's also Megatron and Bumblebee. But Bumblebee looked good, but I freaking hate Bumblebee. I'm tired of seeing his ugly mug. And Megatron look kind of funky, like, like if you notice, like the uh, models uh, of the Transformers, they actually look like replicas of the Masterpiece line. So, especially like here in the leg, these pieces are trademarked from the Masterpiece Soundwave, which look exactly the same. And even Optimus Prime looks like exactly a replica like a MP10. And uh, yeah, so I picked those two up, uh, mainly because, well, they're my favorites. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I already opened uh, the Optimus Prime one, but yeah. Uh, in the back there's not much to see, some some cool arts and that's it, and some basic instruction on how to uh, assemble, and uh, yeah, uh, I already opened uh, Optimus Prime and the content gives you two sheets of metal, with char the uh, model kit, and oh my god, the whole masterpiece, Optimus Prime, can be built from these two tiny metal sheets. Yeah. So yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Metal Earth uh, specializes in making model kits, really tiny, and from metal sheets. Aluminum, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, uh, there's like awesome details carved onto this. Like, uh, this is the base, you can see, maybe you can focus, you could see. The base has Optimus Prime, there's lots of cool details, I think this is the skirt, the arms, there's even an Autobot logo carved onto it, uh, right here, Just I'm trying to uh, <laughs> show because you can see the reflection on it, because this is so polished, yeah, so there's lots of nice details. So more Autobot logo right here and details and yeah, it's just so freaking nice. You see the wipers right here. <laughs> yeah, they they it's amazing the details on it. And we also have the instruction sheets in it. Let me read the camera out just a little bit and focus. Yeah, so. Apparently they uh, they want to start with the legs, which is a great idea. <laughs> Less details and it doesn't look half bad, really. So legs are from the first part of the instructions, and the second part is the torso and the arms and head and whatnot. And yeah, the instruction look quite simple enough. So. Um, I can't wait to see what it gonna be the results. Cause yeah, I'm gonna start with uh, with Optimus Prime first, and uh, hopefully I won't uh, destroy anything. So yeah, so basically the the way you construct them is uh well first you have some uh, cutters. Uh, it's the same cutters I use for the um, Gundam models. So yeah, you just take a piece and cut it out like so. And take the pieces out and using some other tiny pliers you can see some some uh, some points right here which you're gonna fit inside of the tabs and then just bend it so that it holds and hopefully it'll hold good <laughs> I just want to warn everyone that I haven't done anything like this before well yeah actually I tried first uh, it was with the, um, I think it was a pirate ship kind of looking mo Earth model, Earth, metal Earth model kit. And I didn't have any tools. I was using my fingers and I have huge fingers compared to the, <laughs> the size of those uh, pieces. And uh, within two hours of trying to make the uh, pirate ship, 
I just threw everything in the trash. Man. It, I just lost patience. It drew me mental. So hopefully I'm going to be able to build Optimus Prime and come back to you. Yeah, because I'm not going to build it everything on, uh, on camera because it's going to take me bloody ages. All right, so uh, here's a, a quick little update. I've uh, completed the uh, leg assembly and uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, it took me about uh, two hours per legs. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lots of detailed job to do and lots of tiny parts to, uh, to bend and everything. And I've had a lot of trouble with the uh, uh, right leg. Uh, bending the um, the foil a little too often like I was trying to fit one part into another and uh, squeeze the leg a couple of times too much and a couple of parts snapped and unfortunately there's uh, nothing really you can do to um, well once it's snapped it's snapped and you can't really uh, replace it or anything unless you have a double set of of a uh, model kit which I highly recommend if you want to do those stuff buy maybe two of each like if you want to buy an Optimus buy two of it because you are bound to break it <laughs> uh, there, uh, the only way I found out uh, I found how to fix the leg was I don't know if you can see it a little maybe there is one leg maybe. come on focus focus Focus. All right. There's one leg that is completely hollow, which is all right. That one, and the right one has some white stuff in it. I use some um, uh, what do you call like the gummy tack thingy that you can use to hang uh, posters on the wall without the you know tacks. Uh, it works actually. I tried scotch tape, but scotch tape doesn't even stick to the aluminum. I tried crazy glue. Crazy glue doesn't even dry on that stuff <laughs> so I had like a fingers all sticky now so I use like the gummy tack I just filled the leg in and just uh, applied the well each sides around it and it holds so yeah here's the legs took me about four hours just to build the legs and there's lots of nice details I love this so far <laughs> So, gives you an idea, the figure is going to be like, I don't know, legend size. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to pause again and come back with the rest of the figure. Alright, just another quick update. I'm uh, through with the torso now. And this is how it looks. Uh, it took me about an hour maybe for the torso uh, it was much easier than I uh, thought except for uh, maybe the instructions are uh, not so great for that part in particular uh, it doesn't mention anything about the um, well to fold the the torso there was a specific order in foldings uh, which panels to go first before another one and uh, if you didn't do it correctly it all bumps into each other and it was a whole mess uh, the instruction yeah not so good but I manage I'm a resourceful guy <laughs> and uh, the uh, here's the back it's hollow of course and uh, you can't probably see it but inside there were like four tiny pins I had to reach with uh, the pincers and holy crap that was hard there's not much space to uh, work with so yeah <laughs> it's coming along real great and I'm probably gonna finish it real soon so coming back to you in a couple <laughs> see ya all right and here we are uh, I finally completed the uh, assembly of the uh, Earth, Metal Earth 3D model kits and here is Optimus Prime he is awesome there's so many details on this thing it's just amazing check I don't know if the camera can 
pick everything, but there's just so many details. The wheels, the on the arms. And yeah, it's just amazing. There's even the uh, <laughs> the uh, matrix kind of th holding plate thingy. The face though can could work could use some work though. It's okay. It's kind of bent up, but uh, there's a <laughs> there's a lots of parts which requires the um, bending and circles and round. It's just horrible. The uh, smokestacks on the sides. They need. Come on, focus, focus on me. All right. Yeah, you can see the smokestacks completely horrible. Like you have to bend it in round, and I don't have uh, anything to guide the uh, the bending. Uh, <laughs> it was horrible. He's supposed to have a uh, his uh, cannon in hand, but again, all the cannon. All the cannon needed some rounding, bending parts, and pff, everything just broke. So forget about a cannon. <laughs> kind of, yeah. You can see right here. He he's got his gun. Focus. Stupid camera. Nah. But mine doesn't. Uh, I'm not too. Uh, yeah. It doesn't bother me too much. Doesn't have any cannon, but yeah. He his incredible. Uh, it took me around, I don't know, one hour each legs, an hour to torso, maybe one hour, maybe an hour and a half for both arms, and maybe like 45 minutes for the head, because it's so tiny, and there's, the instructions are kind of not perfect. Uh, at some parts, uh, the instruction, uh, well, especially for the head, for example, the head, the, the instruction waits for you to box all the, it's first a uh, flat sheet, and it waits for you to box the whole head together, and then asks you to do, to install the, the ears, which requires to tinker with the flaps inside of the, the helmet, which is, uh, it, it's not user friendly at all. Uh, I would have uh, installed the ears on the helmet, before, while it was flat, so it's easier to tinker with the flaps inside and bend it so that they hold. And there's a fire truck passing. Sorry for that. <laughs> so yeah, there a few a, a few times the the instructions are asking you to do something after you've boxed in a, a parts, which was really freaking hard to uh, to tinker inside of the parts for. Uh, bending the flaps and holding it like securely uh, for uh, size comparison here's a legend Optimus Prime Le legend size generation Optimus Prime and here's the uh, pencil uh, Optimus Prime and that's not Optimus Prime but it's a repaint of uh, Magnus in his uh, world smallest world smallest Magnus so yeah. and just for the fun of it here's masterpiece Optim uh, uh, Ultra Magnus, which is a repaint of of Optimus Prime, and uh, he's based upon it. Like you can clearly see, like the tanks on the side of the leg are exactly the same. The details are all coming from the uh, the masterpiece line. So here's a yeah, <laughs> he's a small figure, but it's an awesome figure. Just the amount of details in it is just incredibly, incredibly amazing. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And if I am to recommend it, yeah, he's uh, he's actually not that bad to assemble. I was uh, quite surprised, except the the, the, uh, the roundish parts which breaks off and doesn't bend too good in the circle, and. Uh, the, the fact that I busted the leg completely, I'd suggest if you're not used to it to buy two kits of the same figure just in case. I mean the these are the extra like parts, but none of those are really use uh, useful. I think those were extra parts because there's a few uh, left. But then again, 
Not for the leg, like, my leg broke off, so I was, yeah, I, I had to tinker with the uh, gummy tag thingy. But yeah, you can see, like, there's an extra here, right here, which I didn't use. Uh, this extra part right here is a, uh, next to the smoke, smoke tag, there's a square right here. Some parts are just so tiny. It's just crazy. It was insane to assemble but I've done it and it's super nice he looks amazing the whole chrome thingy the whole chrome ah, it's just nice all the details you have the the insignia the Autobot logos can we focus yeah he he's just amazing all the details can I block the sun right <laughs> the lighting right here yeah awesome awesome figure and I am gonna take a little break and probably next week I'm gonna start Soundwave so I'm just taking a week break off cuz I got a busy weekend so yeah <laughs> that was I really really recommend this these figures they're awesome so Metal Earth 3D model kit for the Transformers there's also Megatron and Bumblebee I think which are available. I only picked up Soundwave and Optimus Prime, and they're awesome. Seriously, highly recommended. Thank you for watching.